What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Risha Marie, and this is my little cousin. Say hi. Hi. Tell me your name. My name is Malik. <laughs> <laughs> so, y'all know him be from the last video where we did his hair. Did something about you. So familiar, something that's got me wanting to know you. I can't put my finger on it, but it feels oh, like I've been here before. It's something about me that makes me wonder. I swear I met you. You're... We're gonna do it again today. Look at, look at, look at all this. It has not been washed. I'm going to have to do the whole process. And child, look where his mama left. Didn't even take down his... I hope she watched this video. Didn't even take down all his hair. So, I'm going to take these down. I'm going to wash him. And then I'm going to come back and show y'all how I blow dry and all that. So, yeah. Put your hand up in front of the camera. No. <laughs> like, <laughs> right, child, we already went through one crying spell wear for washing his hair but um finna go ahead and blow it out so i'm gonna use this instant detangler by aunt jackie's not on um not on my watch what you shaking your head at and i'm a, i may use two blow dryers i may use this one raise that one i may use that one that paddle brush one but we'll see we'll see how this goes <gasps> it's, 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 we're failing today ladies and gentlemen so you guys, I use the two blow dryers just for him because it's a little easier on his scalp and for him being tender headed. So I use the first regular blow dryer and I just do the tension method. So I put the knot on my watch and um, I don't even like really comb through. I detangle with the conditioner before I even get to this point, but I don't comb through. I'm just like doing the tension method, pulling and applying heat. And I do that throughout his whole head just so it won't be as bad when I go through with the paddle brush and try to get it straight. I even let him do it just so he can feel like, hey, you know, this ain't that bad. Like, try it out. And he likes it. So, yeah. Ready? Why not? You want to do it yourself? Here, I'll take down a section and, and let you try. Here, you can do this one. I got to turn it on. Go ahead. so um a, a tip that i use when i'm blow drying i try to do slow passes even though this is sped up i try to do like slow deliberate passes like really letting the heat penetrate to actually get like um a good good blow dry um i even slow down this clip a little bit i i go like super try to go like super slow passes so i don't have to do as many and get the job done um first i have to detangle because like you know detangling with heat is a little easier than just detangling with the brush but as you see i'm doing like those slow deliberate passes so i can like really get each hair follicle and move on i don't want to just be blow drying his hair forever plus the blow drying process is just long in general like nobody likes to blow dry their hair so i try to like you know just go through and get it straight maybe like three or four slow passes and then move on to the next section because it's not like he's getting his hair silk pressed or nothing he's getting braids but i want it as straight as possible because he's tender headed so any knots or anything that i go through like braiding or anything that i could like easily go through with my own hair or anybody else's is going to be more painful for him if it's not already thoroughly detangled and a little bit on the straighter end and also you know braiding with straighter hair or you know blow dried hair is always easier process but as you can see he hasn't cried so this little method works a little bit and i think he is getting a little bit more used to um me like doing his hair like at first i think it was more so of a thing of like you know i'm not super comfortable with getting my hair done he still does like the jumping in the fidgeting and he's not the biggest fan don't get me wrong like he will have an attitude with me but he gets the process and <laughs> look at his face he's like can you cut it out so um for me like 
I really didn't know what I was going to do. I get on Pinterest and I just look up me and Braden styles. And sometimes I'll just copy one I see or sometimes I'll mix different ones together. Now, I know last time I did his hair, he told me um, after that he wanted something straight to the back. So like just some corn, like he's very opinionated in things that he wants. Like I'll show him my ideas. He'll tell me different things that he likes. So we'll try to go somewhere through there. Um, for me, um, to get good parts on him because he moves so much. And I mean, I use it in general. I always go in with like shining jam, um, just so his parts can be crispy. And so I can just have some direction. It helps me make sure that, you know, they are as crispy as they can be. Sometimes my parts aren't that great working with him because as you can see he doesn't hold a good head he will he doesn't stay still i had to bribe him with cookies um and he's on his tablet now you know if you gotta bribe the kids and get them to sit there so you can do their hair do what you gotta do i'm not against bribing kids like i approve 110 percent approve that message bribe your kids so they can sit still um and i'm just like copying some braids that i saw on pinterest um the the thing is to braid um a lot of people think that braiding tight means you're braiding good you don't have to braid tight to braid good like make sure you're p- picking up small pieces of hair um so that way um you know it all looks neat i'm doing like this little zigzag pattern i saw on pinterest i never did it before but you know we saw how it came out i do the best i can again i'm not no professional braider but you know i do decent so don't be trying to come in my head um i just parted like i think i did four sections on for each side and then i'm just going back and forth you see just me combing it out he already giving me attitude but he does not cry as much like the first video i'm gonna have to include a clip somewhere because the first video i did of braiding his hair child he cried the whole the whole video the whole video and then oh i i get migraines thinking about it child he cried the whole video he's getting better he's getting better um and i just i'm going to do the exact same thing i did on this side on the other side um i'm at some point in this video i'm gonna include a clip if you haven't watched that video of how i how he was when i first braided his hair um and even though this may look tight i promise you guys i'm not braiding his hair tight at all um i mean i have to have some type of grip but i'm not braiding his hair tight at all he just don't like be touching his scalp so you know he's opinionated (laughs) so um we go through the process uh and everything i'm doing on this side i'm gonna turn around and do it on the other side and that's about it um i had an idea of what i was going to do right here and then i ended up changing it and taking it down and doing something else um because i was trying to do like zigzag braid but it, it didn't look right so i just took it down and i did like some individual boxes box braids and i included those in the individual braid like i said i see different things on pinterest and i just include it or i take one style and copy it um i'm not really big on like how to braid boys hair so i find ideas on the internet because i try to be like super careful because i don't want him to look too feminine because like i'll think something is cute but i'm like y'all maybe for a little girl so i try to find things that are like for a boy because even though you have long hair you can still look like a male um and i try to make sure that he doesn't look feminine with the styles that i give him so um i let him choose pinterest you know different ideas i save sometimes his mom will send me ideas and we just go with that but you see it's the braiding on his scalp that gets him because the box braids look no problem no no movement he chilling but when i get to braiding his scalp when i get to put when my fingers touch his scalp he like sis what are you doing Uh -uh, uh-uh uh-uh look at his face Uh uh-uh what is this and i promise you i'm not braiding tight i promise you i'm not but it's just the scalp when you touch that scalp boy he be over it okay and i just do the exact same thing on the other side so I'm going to let y'all watch and see what I do. And then y'all also will get to see the final product. Um, Since I am finna hop off this voiceover, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. And make sure you like this video. Thumbs up. Go check out the other videos that I have on my um page. And, you know, stay tuned. Peace. I've even knocked it back again Now I'm on food
Oh, 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 oh,